This is the world's richest city. It has the most luxurious hotels on earth, the world's deepest swimming pool, restaurants with gold food, and I'll be trying it all for the next 100 hours, starting with an Uber helicopter. You can book one for about $200 for a 10 minute flight. It'll take you flying over Dubai's man-made islands. They literally spent around $15 billion to build the entire map of the world with islands. But we're headed to the building on that island there. It's the world's only seven star hotel. Inside, the lobby is completely ridiculous. Welcome, Stiku. There are gold escalators and gold elevators. And your room is basically an entire house. This is actually insane. You've got a fancy desk. The TV is gold. Furniture is gold. The coffee maker is gold. These random holes are gold. A golden staircase. A golden chandelier. There's this fancy area for whatever fancy stuff people do here. Looking good. <laughs> The most insane bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Even the shower is gold. This is ridiculous. The bedroom is just on another level, and you can control the TV and the curtains with this remote. I could get used to this. Somehow things only start getting crazier from here. Because soon I'll be staying in the weirdest hotel I've ever been in, and going to meet the most advanced robot in the world. I'm starting to feel like this video is going to be so expensive. Please subscribe. In the morning I was leaving for breakfast, but these ladies stopped me. I had no idea what they were saying, but I guess they wanted to do a photo shoot. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to try the weirdest breakfast ever at the top of the tallest building in the world. The cafe is up there somewhere. You go right to the top on a super fast elevator. Here we go. The view from your table is just insane. I'm here because this restaurant serves the craziest drink I've ever seen, a golden cappuccino. It's a normal coffee with real 23 karat gold on top. It feels wrong to try to drink this. And it costs almost $50. By the way, instant replay, when you drink this, you get gold on your face. Like, that's gold in my mustache. But is it worth it? Not worth it. It just tastes like coffee. But speaking of gold, this city actually has an entire market that only sells gold stuff. Here, rich people can buy the world's heaviest gold ring, gold shoes, golden crowns, gold alligators, or I guess any other gold things they might need. Everything seemed so expensive, so I asked. What is the cheapest thing that you sell, and what is the most expensive one? The cheap one, this one. Okay. Maybe 1,000 dirham. 1,000 dirham. That's it. 200,000 dirham. 300,000? People here can spend a day gold shopping and then go swim in this totally normal swimming pool. It looks so boring and normal, right? Wrong. It's actually the world's deepest swimming pool and it's almost 200 feet deep. There's an entire city underwater with things to do. There are different rooms and even games in the pool. The problem? I've never gone diving before, ever. Luckily, you do get a guide. Meet Jake. Yo, what's up, Jake? Once you get comfortable, you can play chess. Someone forgot to put the pieces back after their game. Uh, pretend to go shopping, ride a motorcycle, watch people out this window, and there's even a toilet in the pool. Just don't use it. I honestly had a great time, but now we have to go back out into the hot Dubai sun. This city is so hot that it's pretty crazy that you can go sledding today in a massive, super cold, indoor snow mountain. And my hotel tonight happens to have a perfect view of the ski slopes. This view is ridiculous. Your bed lets you watch everyone having fun in the snow. Your room has a fireplace. It's, it's not actually a fireplace. It's Actually not hot or warm at all. There's an entire dining room, and you even get a butler to help you with whatever you need. He told me the snow mountain has some insane air conditioning. They keep it a cool 25 degrees all year round. Before you can go touch the snow, you have to suit up and say hi to these creepy robot reindeer. Keep the penguins. Stay safe and enjoy your visit. Stay safe. Uh, once you're inside, you can grab hot chocolate or say hi to the penguins. By the way, fun penguin fact. The male will find the female of his choice. When he finds her, he will then sing to her and still be rejected by the female. Wow. Okay. Bruh. Here's what the snow looks like. Can't really make a snowball. No way. There's even a private movie theater on the snow mountain that plays the latest movies all day for you to watch while having fun. Speaking of fun. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh, that was incredible. The ski mountain is now closed. It's time to get ready for our big morning plans. Night. In the morning, I went to check out the massive Dubai mall. It's so big that drivers can bring you around it for free. It has an aquarium and even offers Lamborghini rentals. This is incredible. But I came here for only one reason, a robot cafe. It has a robotic arm to make whatever drink you want. 
and then will even dance with your coffee before giving it to you. This city loves robots so much that someone is building robot supermodels that can run a restaurant. But why? Dubai also has robot waiters, robot police, and stores with really weird robots. Soon I'm even going to meet the most advanced AI robot in the world. It's uh, been called the world's most advanced robot. But first, I found a store here unlike any I'd ever seen before. They only sell luxury alpaca toys. Like some are over six feet tall. This guy's in charge here and he told me every toy is made out of 100% real alpaca wool. No mixing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it does feel real. Feels like real fur. How much is the big alpaca? 11,000. That's the same as almost $3,000. But I guess being in the most luxurious city means you'll find things here you won't find anywhere else. Like a massive golden picture frame skyscraper. You can even walk around the top and just hope the glass doesn't break. You can go swim on the world's highest infinity pool. Just uh, be careful when it gets windy. It has an insane view that lets you see Dubai's newest super fancy hotel. With 90 swimming pools and rooms that cost $40,000 a night. Or look at the water park with water slides that let you go on a ride through a shark tank. The sharks literally stare right back at you. Kind of makes you feel like you're the one in the aquarium. But this city isn't only luxury. You can visit the traditional market. Here there are all sorts of different shops, vendors you can buy stuff from. Like creepy dolls, armor swords or random objects, but there are still fancy things like Starbucks or shops that sell Yeezys. What? The most expensive thing you could buy here? It might be this rug. This one. 55,000. Wow. So that's like a car. <laughs> There are also shops that sell spices or incense. This guy wanted me to try everything he had, including whatever this is. I guess it's supposed to help clean your sinuses. Open eyes. Eyes also will be clean. I'm not really sure if it worked. And this guy tried really hard to sell me on the local clothes. Is this your family shop? Me, my brother, business. He showed me exactly how to dress like a local. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to buy it. Yeah, uh, I don't, uh... Well, they sold me on it. I actually feel pretty good. Pretty comfortable. Tonight we're staying in my favorite type of hotel, a capsule hotel. Basically, they're one-person beds with doors. I've been to capsule hotels in Japan, Singapore, but these, these are definitely the smallest I've seen. You basically just get a reclining chair, or you can upgrade to get an entire room. I stayed in one just like this in Japan, and it's really a perfect amount of space for cheap. But more importantly, today I'm heading over to this building, the Museum of the Future. Some have called it the most beautiful building in the world. It also holds the most advanced AI robot in the world. We are delighted joined by Amica, the thing called the world's most advanced robot. Soon you may be able to buy one that can sit on your desk and watch you all day. I don't know if I should be excited or scared. When you go inside the lobby, you first see this robot dog and this flying robot penguin. That is, that's so cool. You go on a futuristic elevator designed to feel like a spaceship, and there she is. Are you a real human? My name is Amika. I'm a humanoid robot, and I work for the Museum of the Future. Finally, I could ask an AI my biggest questions about life. What is two plus two? Some things should remain mysterious or the future will become boring. She doesn't know. What time is it? The time is now, which sometimes is a good thing to focus on. Not what is past or what is coming. What? I guess this robot isn't that smart after all. Honestly, even though I got to try so many crazy luxury things in this city, I'll definitely remember all the really kind people I met way more than any golden coffee. Subscribe and let me know where to go next. Love you guys.